Tonight, the CDC is urging people in America's two largest cities to mask up as COVID cases are surging again. More than 45 million people live in communities with high levels of severe COVID cases. That's three times what it was last week. As CBS's Elise Preston reports, COVID isn't the only illness pushing hospitals to the brink. Mount Sinai Hospital in Nassau County, New York, is in surge mode, stretched to capacity, and adding beds meant for rehab patients. How many beds are full? So right now the hospital really is at, at its normal full capacity. It's one of many hospitals across the country seeing an increase of people suffering from COVID, flu, and RSV. So that's the current tridemic that people are talking about, and it's true, it's real. We're seeing increased numbers of cases since Thanksgiving. We probably have had over 300 cases of COVID come into our emergency room, uh, about the same number of flu cases, about 50 RSV cases. Nationwide, cases of RSV are on the rise, combined with the worst flu season so far in over a decade. COVID cases are also up, nearly 50% since last week. In Los Angeles County, cases have soared nearly 63% raising the possibility of a return to an indoor mask mandate if hospitalizations rise. But in New York, health officials are already calling for indoor masking in schools. We've gotten vaccinated, so I think you should have the choice. I'm choosing to, uh, to mask. I think if other people don't want to, I think they shouldn't have to. And with only 15% of adults having received the latest booster, today, Dr. Anthony Fauci urged people of all ages to get vaccinated. When you do that, you dramatically diminish the possibility of getting infected and also importantly, dramatically diminish the possibility that you're going to get seriously ill, requiring hospitalization. Now, according to the CDC, two new Omicron subvariants are to blame for nearly 70% of all new COVID infections, and they're resistant to some antibody treatments. So getting vaccinated is your best bet to stay safe. Nora, Elise Preston with that good information. Thank you.